It's not a match day, but the Emirates Stadium is busy. These local children are benefiting from one of Arsenal's community programmes. Bonjour. Does anyone know who used to play number four for France? Patrick Vieira, the young lad here has got it right first time. Patrick Vieira. Now this is Patrick's shirt. You'll see here it says Russia. The club is keen on supporting languages in local schools. This was the actual shirt he wore in that match. Arsenal has strong international links with players from 15 different countries around the world. It's a multilingual club with over 10 languages represented. Bueno, a mí en el equipo me llaman Cesc. Je m'appelle Gaël Clichy. No, francés, que es un nombre catalán. Je suis français. It's not surprising that one of the things Arsenal do is facilitate languages in local schools in North London. And they do it in the way they know best, with football. One such program is called the Double Club. The Double Club is called the Double because, like a football match, it's split into two halves, 45 minutes of classroom work, usually followed by 45 minutes of football. Um, that's very important to us because, being a football club, we obviously want to encourage children to play and improve their football, um, as well as help them uh, improve their skills in the, in the classroom. So it's always two halves, uh, lessons and football. St Luke's Primary School is running a French language double club. Refereeing the first half is specialist languages teacher Marilyn Dissy. She teaches French and Spanish in 12 different schools across the borough. I have been teaching French for 10 years uh, in primary and secondary schools in East Linton. Theo Walcott? Theo Walcott? Et petit. Et petit. I wanted to get involved because I thought from the start that it was an amazing idea using the image of Arsenal to help the children to learn the language and I think it is working very well. On va ouvrir le livre. The scheme is run in conjunction with the Institut Francais and provides schools with a range of teaching resources. Le numéro 3, comment il s'appelle? Il s'appelle Bakari Sadna. Bravo! Basics such as numbers and names are related to the Arsenal team. 7, comment il s'appelle le joueur numéro 7? Well, Arsenal is all over the place, <laughs> I have to say, because uh, from the moment where we started this, this project, we knew that using the Arsenal team and using anything you, we know about Arsenal will make our teaching and the learning much easier. Quel est ton numéro de maillot? 22. El número de mi camiseta es el 4. Et le numéro. Le numéro 10. Comment il s'appelle le numéro 10? Il s'appelle William Gallas. Il s'appelle William Gallas. Wow, wow, wow. They can actually, for instance, apply the colors to the t shirts the, the, the players wear. They can apply age. Uh, to the player's age. Quel âge as-tu? J'ai 21 ans. Quantos años tienes? Yo tengo 19, casi 20 años. They can apply a description of a person to one of the player, and it's realistic. Quelle est la couleur de tes yeux? Noir. Quelle est la couleur de tes cheveux? Noir. 
À les cheveux courts. À les cheveux courts. Thomas Rosic. Thomas Rosic. À les cheveux mi-longs. À les cheveux. And it's not just the players up for scrutiny. Arsène Wenger. Arsène Wenger. À les cheveux gris. À les cheveux gris. Super. When we do, for instance, the hair and Arsène Wenger, à les cheveux gris, it's very easy for them to understand that Arsene Wenger has grey hair instead of Mr. David has grey hair. They, they straight away link it to the player and the, the language, and this is how they match the two together. De quelle couleur sont les cheveux d'Arsene Wenger? Gris. Gris, super, excellent, wow. I try not to speak English or very little during the lesson because I want to make sure that the students actually get used to a certain numbers of instructions in the target language and can use it as well. Je suis né le 14 mars. Bravo pour les filles. Hein? Là, on le donne aux filles. Écoutez, j'ai 20 ans. Non. J'ai 20 ans. Bravo. They just actually understand the French using the picture of one of the Arsenal player in a very easy way. And it, it, it makes sense for them. They don't need to be translated at all, which is the reason why I don't actually need to speak English. It's all there for them. 45 minutes later, and the first half of the lesson comes to an end. Waiting outside are the Arsenal coaches. Bonjour, la classe. OK, can everyone find a bit of space? The football element of the double club is always the carrot to the stick. Plenty of children have told me they look forward to the football. But it is a serious Four, element for back. us. It's, it's the double. Thank. We give equal weight to the football and the classroom lesson. It's important. Thank, six, set, we, no, this. Okay. It's a style of learning, active learning, that really does does work. So occasionally, if children have not yet learnt their numbers or their colours, they, they will learn them in the football as well. John, that's good, well done. The traffic light session is a good example of a session we use in normal coaching that is easily adaptable to the French. So we just replace red, green and yellow with the French colours. They then move on to another training game. The numbers game is again a session we use in normal coaching session, very adaptable to the language sessions, we bring in the numbers. It's a good way to practice some one-on-one -on -one football. Very nice. Finish it. Numero... Wait. There ain't no wait! Like Arsenal, other football clubs operate similar projects in local schools in a range of different subjects. The Arsenal Double Club is not just for boys, it's for girls as well. It's not just for Arsenal fans, it's for people, it's for students who like football. I'd feel really gutted if the French lesson was cancelled because they're really fun and I enjoy it a lot. And then two, cat, six, six. <laughs> The primary languages programme lasts for six weeks, and at the end, there's a reward for the pupils. We invite all the schools that have taken part to Emirates Stadium to give them their certificates, their medals, to take them round the stadium. It's their reward for having signed up to the programme. And today, it's St Luke's turn to visit the stadium. Bienvenue. Welcome to Arsenal Stadium. Are you excited to be here? Yeah. Yeah, right. First stop, the best seats in the house, the director's box. They'll be sitting in one of the 60,000 seats. And it's a perfect time to practice some French. OK, let's see if we remember some of the words from French Double Club. How do we say the pitch? 
Who knows? Yes. The time? Close. Yes. Le terrain. Le terrain. That's very good. Yes, very good. How do we say... Where are we now? The stadium. How do we say the stadium? Yeah. Stade. Say it louder. Le stade. Le stade. Very good. Yeah, very good. Next up, Samir gives the pupils a sneaky peek at the players' facilities. There's a boot room there and there's a doctor's room there. On your left, you'll see a hydrotherapy spa. That's like a jacuzzi for the players. And on the right, you'll see the physiotherapy area. That's where the players can have a massage. I want to become an Arsenal player when I grow up. And into the home changing room, where, like Arsene Wenger, they run through the team positions in French. Striker. L'attaquant. L'attaquant. Midfielder. Milieu de terrain. Your hands up if you know how to say a shirt, a football shirt. Le maillot. Le maillot. Very good. How do you say whistle? Yes. Le sifflet. Le sifflet, that's very good, very good. Le sifflet. Have a medal, have a double club medal. Let's one more, let's, you have to wear it. What's one more word, Marilyn? Ah, uh, comment dit-on? The goal. Goal. Boot. Boot, exactly, that's how we say goal, un um, boot. Well done, un um, boot. Of course, the medals aren't the only things the pupils can get their hands on. There's a chance for photos with one of Arsenal's 10 replica FA Cups and Patrick Vieira's international shirt. As the children end their visit to the stadium, has the French double club been a success? It is working and we've seen it through the lessons and I've seen it through the six lessons we've done with the kids and we can adapt it to different level, key stage one if we have to, key stage two where the level is a little bit higher, therefore we need to make the lessons a bit more academic, but still very much interactive where they can be involved and remember what the players are doing and how the players are involved in the booklet and in the lessons. And what do the pupils think of their experience? It's fun and we don't always play football, we get to learn French as well. The best thing about it is because we learn new football moves and we learn more French each week. You learn more French. The French colour in every bit in the book. you got colour up here and they teach you how to can in French. Not to play. Like we learn French while we're having fun.